Hello everyone, this is Kathleen, and I'm in kind of a mess this morning on my desk, and so I, I've been mass making um, some neutral kinds of ephemera for the journals that I have coming up, and um, you know, things to stuff into pockets and tucks um, without, you know, interrupting the whole project and waiting while I make a tag or something, so... Um, this is what I'm doing, and I thought I would just turn on the camera and 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 finish the project and show you um, kind of how to how to do this because it's it's turning out pretty good. This started with this magazine um, earlier in the week. I I went to the thrift store looking for uh, magazines like this because what the reason why I like them is for this paper. Um, these are in 1975, um, so they're, you know, 50 years old now, but, um, I really like this, this paper to, to use as pages in journals. Um, sometimes it has this little bit of color. This is just a little bit of green and it's now foxed and faded and, but, but the paper still bends pretty good. So I really like putting these in, in journals. So I went to see if they had my favorite thrift store had any more and they did have one. So I snatched it up and then, um, so I will, I will get this to use these papers, but, but look what else it has. And this is what the project is doing. Um, today they have these ads, these vintage ads, and I really like to use these in different ways in collage. There's a lot here in the back, but there's also, there's plenty here, you know, within the magazine um, that I can use. Speed writing. I so remember this when I was, you know, young. I was 15 in 1975. Uh, anyway, plenty of these vintage ads. And so I just have ripped some of those out. <coughs> I also have a little file in my drawer with other kinds of this kind of thing. This was some old newspaper, and so I just clip clippings, you know, like our grandparents did, and, and keep them. Um, so I have this little pile up here in the corner, and I started just with some file folder and coffee dyed. My husband, you know, has retired, and... We cleaned out his gigormous um, file cabinet at work, and I grabbed all of the old file folders, so I now have plenty, probably for the rest of my life. Anyway, so I, I coffee dyed them and ironed them because the file folders often really distort. Um, so I have ironed them, and, and then all I have done is I've glued them the the ads some I just have one and most I have two um, these are going to be tags later but I also have done smaller journal cards because out of a file folder I can get um, I can get two going that direction and two smaller ones so that's that's how I that's how I I cut them. So this is the file folder flap, and I can get two three and a quarter inch wide and six and a half inch length, and then I can get two of these smaller cards out of one side. So that's um, that's eight pieces of ephemera from one file folder. Anyway, so, so this is what I did. I have glued those on there. Okay, so I'm not going to show you how to do that because I know that you can figure that out. But um, I will finish those later. And then the next thing I did was I, I came along and have smeared um, or just washed, just done a really simple... Um, watercolor wash and then done a little bit of gesso and 
a stamp. So that's basically the project that I have going. And um, so I'm going to do a couple of those with you. I'll, show, I'll finish these last four. But um, this is kind of what I'm going for in the end. I'm going for just a neutral card that is a foundation for later. And then when I have a journal, as I do today, <laughs> I am trying to stuff pockets in these two journals. And um, the kind of the, you can see that the color scheme is this kind of green, green and red, um, pink, pinkish red. So this is what I've got going um, for the journals and I need like a card that will slide in here. And so what I want to be able to do is grab one of these cards and then um, alter it just a little bit to kind of match the theme of what I have going in the journal. So I have made for, for these two journals, I've, I've made two cards and this is the end, the end product. So I have done a few additional things, which I'll show you. And then now I have cards that can just slide into the pockets. And that's what, what I need. Okay. So to get to this point, what I have is just some cheap um, water, children's watercolors. These, I got these at the dollar store here in the USA. I'm not sure what an equivalent would be elsewhere, but um, almost every community has a dollar store in the United States. So, um, and I'm just doing neutral. So I'm just going to get a little bit of water and, um, and then I, all I'm doing is just doing a very, um, random kind of, kind of wash over the top of those, um, those ads. Okay. So what this does, I don't know if you can see it already, but what it does is, so this, this is very flat, very two dimensional. Um, it has one layer and, and the second layer and it looks just unfinished. And so what the, what this watercolor wash does is it just begins to um, make what you're doing look you know, deliberate. It, it makes it look like a project. And now I'm going to go over that gray with some brown. So it, um, it unifies those two separate pieces. And, and makes the project, you know, more more unified now. So you could do something similar. You don't have to use watercolors. You could even just use um, some more coffee spill on there. That would also work. But but the reason part of the reason why I like to use um, watercolors is then if I want, I can then add um, I can add the other color, you know, that I'm, I'm using, whether it's um, red or blue or green or whatever, whatever I've got going, I can use that um, as well to kind of add more color. I want these others to kind of stay neutral. So I'm going to to leave that there but but if you want you can just put all kinds of colors and the colors that you're using you know in your journal okay now the next step is to um, do a little bit of gesso and so what I'm gonna do is just move 
these over a little bit. Maybe I'll move the watercolors out of the way. And then I'm going to put just a little bit of gesso here. And I'm going to take my brayer. And then I'm going to get uh, a sheet like this to, you know, rub off on it. So I'm doing that off camera and then I just bring that and just give a little bit more of, um, a little bit of gesso on the top. That was kind of a lot. I didn't rub that off enough. I don't really want to cover up, you know, things. So if that happens, no problem. You just take a baby wipe, right? And, and just kind of smear some of that back off. And I kind of like the strokes. And so I, I kind of want to, to get a little bit of texture. Okay, so now I have this one maybe needs just a little bit more. You can also, if you want to be a little less um, random. If you want, you can take a little card and, you know, put it on like that. This allows you to put it on and scrape it off a little bit, you know, if you get too much. But I kind of like random. That's the fun thing, you know, about mixed media is you just, you just do random. Okay, now let's get rid of this. And then we'll do a little bit more on top of that. We're going to come back and do another little bit of, there's my gray, at least brown. I'm going to put just a little more brown now on top. The gesso um, makes the it makes the, the watercolor different. It adds, you know, it adds a layer to the, um, to the project and then it changes the way that the water interacts. Now it's not interacting just with the paper, but it's interacting with the gesso as well. Okay, and this is, you know, just random. But you can see now that 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 um, the ads are they're just part now of of the project. I like that. Okay, so. Now, the last thing that we're going to do is I would let that dry. Um, I'm not going to dry it for you. But then the last thing, so this is now a dried one. And the last thing that we do is just take a stamp. So I've used this small rose stamp and some archival ink. And I've used for a little bit of additional texture, which you can't really see much on this one. Let me just move those over. I've used this um, texture stamp, and all I'm gonna do is put just a bit and add that in. Let's see how that works? Yeah, I like, I like doing that. So now, this is finished. This now can go in the stack, here's my stack, so I can just put all of these now in, in my drawer where I keep um, tags that are cards that are ready to, to put in a journal. Now the thing that I want to also to show you is um, sometimes there will be things on here that, that you don't necessarily want. I'm not going to cover this up right now because um, I may want 
that gal in there but if you don't like people or you there's something on the ad that you don't particularly like you can just take a smear of gesso and kind of cover that up um, now with these these are all completely neutral but as I say if I want to add the color to um, to match the journal that I'm working in, then I can now come back with this and and I can, can use the I can use the watercolor and add, you know, just some color. Looks like I need a little more water. I can add just some color with with um, the wash and then I can take uh, the stamp and add color that way as well so I can do um, let me do it on well we'll just do it on this one so I can add the color with this stamp Okay, and that one needs a little bit of texture too. Okay, so then it, it becomes something that's a little more specific and less neutral. Um, also, I wanted to, to, to let you know, you know, you don't have to use um, like a flower stamp you can use other stamps you can use other colors obviously you can use um, like I did with this book for this journal where is it? There you go. I've added a sticker and I've added some texture paste so there's a number of ways that you can finish these off but um, it's just it's just a really nice easy and it's useful it recycles these ads you know that would otherwise get thrown away and um, I think it makes a really attractive journal card so there you go I hope that was helpful and um, come back and visit me and we'll see you again <music>